Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a ISO image for Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Now just go ahead and open up your web browser and then just go to Google and then just Google image burn and then just download it from any site that you want to I'm gonna download from CNET then just click download now and just start the installation accept the license terms then just run it now I only know of two ways to create a bootable ISO image and that would be creating an image from files and folders like this where you have all these folders and these files and uh, creating an image file from a uh, disk now I'm gonna show you how to create an image file from disk and then just um, insert your disk Now that it um, notices it, it will automatically create the destination to the documents folder. You can just change it like so. And then just click read. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create the image from the files and folders. Now the um, creating files and folders to an image works the same way as writing it to the disk. I would suggest doing that um, so that it doesn't take up more room on your computer. but I'm just going to show you how to create the image file now just select the um, folder and then select the destination 
that's where the image file would be created now you have to go to advanced and then a bootable disk and then click make image bootable keep this selected at none and then select the bootable image and that would be the um, ETFS boot file and um, that's just located within the folder of the um, image and it will be in the boot folder and then there will be the very bottom one now it may automatically load this segment and uh, have the sectors to load but since this is the Windows 7 disk you're gonna have to um, make it 8 but I'm gonna leave it um, at 4 and um, load segment just keep it the exact same for Windows Vista or Windows 7 and then just change the developer ID to Microsoft Corporation now once you have it set up the exact same way just click build and it will it may prompt you if you have um, left it like I have where it has to be set to 8 and not 4 just select the S for the autocorrect and then it will ask you to change the label if you want to but I'm gonna keep it the exact same and then just collect yes and then it will prompt you one final thing which would be this and then just select OK and then we'll start building the image file slash writing it to disk and that's it this has been brought to you by Windows 8 TM Hacks like comment and subscribe